Hello, welcome to plsql02pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'll talk about bind variables. So, the purpose of bind variable is to get an input from the users while the program is running. Okay, so the syntax would be something like this that you are seeing on the screen. Actual variable name. This variable is plsql variable let's say v score or x or v first name whatever right and uh, is equal to so we are assigning this bind value to this variable now what is the bind value as soon as uh, the processor will encounter this colon and any word processor will pop up a message to the screen asking user to provide a value for this bind variable now this is not a plsql variable okay the whole purpose of this bind variable is to get an input from the user as soon as user enters some value this value would be substituted here and that value would actually go into plsql variable okay because the, that's what you are putting into this bind variable and this there's an assignment equation here now this uh, colon bind you can substitute bind with any variable name like colon score cor colon salary cor colon age okay uh, but no spaces are allowed here so you can use underscore if you like okay whatever I said is not totally true because what I told you is when you use bind variable a processor asks you to uh, uh, ask the user which would be you right now to enter value for the wind bind variable okay now all this happened and I, I, and I also told you while the program is running user input is asked okay now uh, this is a regular program this is regular processing how the regular processing will happen this is a PLSPL program here as soon as you enter type this program on this application express Application Express is the front end of the Oracle Express that you are using, okay, that you installed. It's a query tool. The database is, that's not the database. The database is running at the back end, okay. It's a service running on your computer if you have installed Oracle Express. So this Application Express tool is talking to your, your to the database service, okay. You can't see the database running on your computer. Now, this is a regular PLS field program. As soon as you type it and you run it, it is sent over to Oracle and Oracle sends the result back and you see the result at the bottom section of the screen okay but if your program contains a bind variable then this would happen okay let's say this is a program and there's a bind variable here how do you know there's a bind variable the variable name uh, there would be a colon at the beginning of the variable okay so that's what the bind variable is don't confuse this colon with the assignment operator colon okay that, so that's two different things as soon as Oracle like not Oracle Express database as soon as application express the front end the query tool as soon as the query tool uh, senses a bind variable when you're running the program first query tool is cancel the whole program if there's a bind variable then before the data is sent over to not data the, before the program is sent over to Oracle uh, the user is asked to enter some value to substitute the bind variable okay so the point here is that the whole bind variable substitution is done at the query tool level Oracle does not even care about the bind variable because it's not part of PLSQL or SQL programming language okay so this colon score is a bind variable and as soon as you run this program user will be asked to enter some value for this score as soon as user enter one let's say then the whole program uh, one will be substituted in the program uh, in place of uh, sorry score bind score variable will be substituted by one in the whole program and a new program will be prepared as if there is no bind variable in the new program as if you know you already had entered one while doing the programming now this new code will be sent over to Oracle because Oracle does not understand bind variable it's not Oracle thing it's a uh, it's it's a uh, a keyword it's a uh, uh, query tooled variable it's not oracle's plsql or sql variable okay this is very important to note now 
this binding is done differently in different query tools for example call and score is oracle express binding you can do different kind of binding in toad and other query tools available some some use ampersand instead of colon but uh, the concept is same okay so binding again remember binding is not uh, oracle uh, specific uh, uh, you know characteristic it's more of an attribute of uh, the front end query tool okay so let me show you some examples of binding so it would appear to you as if the binding is happening while the program is running just note that the program has not run yet while the binding is happening program has not because program has not even been sent over to Oracle yet or the front end tool uh, does the binding okay, let me go to Oracle Express let's log in SQL SQL commands okay so let me write a a simple program declare begin end all right so declare let's declare a variable v score as a number type okay so there is no by this time you already figured this out there is no uh, semicolon after declare and after begin but there is a semicolon after end because declare and begin are marking the start of uh, the sections this is marking the start of declare section declaration section this is marking the start of the actual program body okay so v score is equal to let's say 100 dbms output put line Uh, we score the score is so all we are doing here is we are assigning something wrong here dbms output we are assigning we declared a variable v score is a plsql variable nothing uh, no binding is happening i have not introduced any binding here okay let me just to avoid the confusion let me remove this colon as well uh, we declared a variable score we initialize the variable by putting 100 in this variable score all we are doing that uh, uh, all we are doing is displaying the value in variable score to the screen so I just highlighted this whole program and control enter to run it so the score is 100 okay now if I change it to 200 and run this program program is saying score is 200 okay now the problem is that each time I want to change the value in the score uh, I have to pro like manually go and change the number here okay in the program uh, what I want is let's suppose the program has other logic as well which there is no logic in the program all we are doing is just putting number in the uh, putting a value in the variable let's say there's a whole lot of things going on in the program and every time we run the program we want the user to enter some value for the score okay so we don't want to programmatically you know change the variable uh, variables value initialization value like this okay we want user to each time program is run user should be able to enter some value so what we can do here is we can say a colon score okay now this is a bind variable it has like before this program will be sent over to oracle you will be asked to let's say you will be asked to enter a value for score for this score not for this score okay whatever you will enter will be substituted in the program as if it's part of the program okay so let me run this as soon as I'm running this see this this thing popped up uh, another window popped up and uh, I have to enter the value for this score here so let's say score is 120 some bit the program is, is run as if 120 is uh, is as if I have entered 120 here okay this is what was sent to Oracle this very thing that you see on the screen is sent over to Oracle however this was the actual program 
okay so whenever the variable is, is displayed on the screen it's all displayed in the upper case so this title case has been ignored uh, but you understood the use of bind variable okay so so let's say score is user will provide the score number of players and user will provide the number of players as well and we're going to add one more line here the score is this number of players is this number of it's a long variable name usually you should avoid this long variable name like this okay so let me run this program do you see any problem with this program I see one problem problem with this program you have initialized the variable but you have not declared it okay the program wouldn't have run so now we have declared two variables we are initializing two variab uh, both variables here and simply we are displaying the value to the screen okay later on in next tutorial I'll show you the conditional processing there's no logic in these programs that we have written so far okay so programming this is the start, uh, start of programming okay so that's how you have to learn uh, soon you will be writing more complicated program that will have some logic in it like if then this and while loops etc etc so uh, you have to be a little patient because your base has to be strong before you go to that advanced uh, programming concepts so let me just run this the so oracle is supposed to ask me two bind variable uh, number so score is let's say 140 and we have nine players in the team submit okay score is 140 number of players is nine Okay, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you the concept of bind variables so that we can make use of bind variables while we're learning um, uh, more advanced uh, programming concepts. Okay, I'll see you in next tutorial.